Songs from their upcoming new album last weekend at an unusual free concert in the band's hometown of Atlanta. The show was mounted on behalf of the Georgia chapter of Normal, the national organization for the reform of marijuana laws. And it came at a time when marijuana is once again in the news. Democratic presidential candidate Bill Clinton recently puzzled many past and present potheads with his assertion that he'd once tried marijuana in England, but didn't inhale it and yet nevertheless didn't like it anyway. And the U.S. Public Health Service has puzzled perhaps even more people by proposing a ban on the use of medicinal marijuana, which is now legitimately used to treat people with AIDS, asthma, and glaucoma. With all this in mind, we stopped by the Atlanta Pot Festival last weekend, and here's what we saw and heard. I think David Crosby said, let your freak flag fly. You know, that sounds a little funny, but I think that's sort of what it's about. The Black Crows were what this year's Great Atlanta Pot Festival was all about. In past years, the event drew around 5,000 people. This year, 60,000 people showed up with their freak flags, tie-dye t-shirts, and the mind-altering substance in question. The National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws sponsored the event, hoping to show politicians just how many people support the legalization of marijuana. Well, sad to say, there aren't a lot of bands who are brave enough as the Black Crows to come right out and say, we're not hypocrites, we're one of the many, we're one of the 40 to 50 million Americans who smoke marijuana, and we're not going to deny it. Those who attended this event say it's as much about pot as it is about individual rights. Even though I don't smoke marijuana, I believe in the right to choose, and that our political system has gotten too conservative and has restricted our rights. George Washington grew pot. Every colonial person in this country grew pot. And it's an industrial product. You can make all sorts of things out of it. You can make paper, and much cheaper than you can use trees. Although a lot of people are motivated by the music, probably just as many are motivated by the politics of keeping the police and the authorities out of our homes and out of our backyards. A bunch of people can come have a really good time, and no one hurts each other, and no one gets arrested, and it's all just a very fun afternoon. I mean, something that simple. It's like a good meal or a nice bottle of wine or a conversation with a stranger in a train session that makes you laugh, you know? I mean, it's called human being things, you know, man? I don't speak banker or lawyer or customs official or warden, you know? I speak American and human being and musician, you know? Whatever you say, Chris. The Black Crows will have a new single out next week called Remedy from their upcoming album, The Southern Harmony and Musical Companion, which will be released next month. The surprise success of the Seattle band Nirvana may be the biggest rock. Creative differences apparently had nothing to do with the recent departure of guitarist Jeff Cease from the Black Crows and his replacement by Mark Ford for the recording of the band's upcoming album. Here's how frontman Chris Robinson explained the split to our MTV Europe colleagues at the recent opening of the Euro Disney Amusement Complex outside of Paris. I think describing him as a casualty would be about the best I could do. Right? I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't really. I mean, I'm sure that sounds like, oh, you're horrible to say that. But what do you want me to say? That's true. You know, every other band comes out and goes, we left the band because of artistic differences. There were no artistic differences. He couldn't play with my brother anymore. You know, like he didn't. Why have a subtraction when, to the tapestry of music we're making, we would like an addition, Mark Ford. The Black Crow's new guitarist Mark Ford will be on view in the band's new video for the song Remedy, which will be premiering on MTV on Monday at 5.30 and 10 p.m. East and West. The group's new album, The Southern Harmony and Musical Companion, will be out next month. In a quick tour note, LA's Four Horsemen have been... Our